cue the music, cue the intro music, we'll fix it in post. All right. That was turn two, so we're starting turn three. All right, now the decision here. Which side do you think you want to activate first? If you go. I'll let you go first. Okay, so the, so the bad guys. Yeah. So I he's. I don't want to play it too easy. Right? He's using the, the old uh, your own worst enemy rule, and that's to, uh, to pick the side that's going to make it harder on you. Because that's He's super dodgy, so I yeah. may get like three inches out of this or something. That's yep. Ridiculous. Yep. Who knows? Um, now the choice is Let's see. which three to activate. These are engaged over here, so they're automatically going to be ahead of everybody else. So one of these guys activates. So this guy activates next to Lou. Yeah. All clear. This character ignores all perils, including perilous areas and bursts. Uh, then he will try and rip off Lou's face and wear it as a mask. Alright, so he does 2d6. 2d6 from the zombie. Ah. A5. Lou's looking at 3d6. Blah. Okay. They don't cancel. They don't so cancel. I take one, you take two. Yep. Here's my one. Okay, he's it. fine. Here's the zombies too. He's fine. And the zombie is fine. Okay. They the next one that we'll activate is the other one that's on Lou. And it says make it count. So he's going to gain a plus one to a brawl shoot no! or dodge. Uh, so he might as well go ahead and use that now, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, I would. Yeah. So he'll go ahead and burn it right yeah! now and get three oh, dice. No. So three fours <laughs> against Lou. Lou, he's down to two now. And they got nothing. Not so he takes close. his three dice hit. He's down. And he is down. Lou's a two pointer, so he's down. Now, over here. So we got one other dude. I guess you have uh, these two are the next that are closest to her. So, I, I guess this one over here. Let's do it. I don't know. This one's legal. Come okay. On. All right. This Come one on. here. Okay. This one on this side. Uh, shortcut. It is roll the challenge below, which is two dice with finesse or cunning. Okay. Can't. Can't do it. Uh, if you fail the challenge, you take two hits. So he will automatically fail, so he'll have to roll his two dice health check. Boop. He's dead. Okay, he is gone. Boop. And that was easy. Mm hmm. They just pop. Uh, so that was all three of the cards, right? Yes. Okay, so now they just keep activating. So this, this fellow here can come in on Minerva. She's in a pretty good spot there where there's not very many that are going to be able to get on her. Maybe uh, three or four. Is she within? No, you won't be able to shoot. shoot. No. Bra. Brawl or dodge? I'll dodge. Okay. My brawl's only 2 years, so. Okay. All right. Two dice. I don't think it matters. Whatever you roll. So even as best possible roll. That was actually a nine. Okay. <laughs> um, so. I knew a guy. That was for, a sack. For roll six. Roll dice and the other dice. For six will block the six, and the nine will block okay. uh, his other six. So nothing. She'll move back. She can move back. Now, Smidge. the thing about disengage is you have to make sure that you have one inch away from everybody else, and I think she will. So she has to move away from him. So she puts that she one blocked, inch of kind space. Of on this guy though, she right? is, yeah. And that I think he now becomes the next closest character. Okay. So he'll activate and he'll try and grab a hold of her. Is she gonna dodge again? I guess so. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what she does best. So it doesn't matter what he rolls. Uh, he won't be able to beat that. So she has, uh, she can move again. So she could move back towards, uh, back towards Oki Joe now. Okay. Like that. Sounds good. And that keeps that one inch of space in between those two. The next character, I think, is Blue Chip here. This is the next Blue closest. Chip. So he'll come in. You want boy blue? Stop it now. Okay, she stopped it. She can get another inch away. Uh, let's see. I said I was being hard on myself, but yeah, she's going to get three inches out of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next closest, I think, oh, well, it's right here. It's Cutter. Oh, Cutter. Now it's Cutter. So this fellow is closest to Cutter. Bring it, Cutter. Cutter. Four and a five. Other guy. Nothing. Double so take a th two, two dice, Dead and guy. he's gone. All right. Uh, another one for Cutter here. Mm. Get dodge. Screw it. We're on the bra. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. Takes, Takes one, one hit. Cutter. He's fine. He's fine. Okay. Now, this fellow here. He's got six to Oki. Oki Joe. He could shoot. He's actually closer to uh, to Cutter. So what do you think that guy should do? He uh, could choose to go after Cutter. I'd go after Oki Joe. Okay. But yeah. No, I agree. Because Cutter's kind of. Yeah. He's further away, and your main your main point. goal right now is to try and get right. get to her. All right. So he'll come around to there. Okie Joe could shoot. He's shooting. Okay. Two fives. Nothing. So two dice for the for the boogie. Blue. And he All is right. fine. Right. <laughs> so he's gonna hold on to Okie Joe. I don't think this guy did anything yet. I don't think he is has that the only girl. one? Okay. Um, so I guess it's going to be her. He's, he's within his six, so he's going to go after Minerva. That's the last one. Mm -hmm. I'm quick dodging. Okay, to make sure you get, down. To get extra dice. We'll see how it plays out. And he'll only be rolling two dice at you. So it doesn't matter what he rolls. Mm -hmm. Her, her best dice beat anything that he's capable of rolling, so she can move a, an inch away. She'll actually get right to the edge of the difficult terrain right there. Yeah. Now, because she's still in contact, if you tried to run, you would still count as being in contact. Sure. Because you're still, still in it. Now, this gal back here, what the heck is she going to do, G? She's one of the few runners in the league. She can get all the way up to these skulls. It's probably the smartest. She can't shoot. I guess that's it, huh? Just running up there? Yeah? Okay. Probably. All right. So she runs up there. All right, G. Here we go. You get to activate your guys now. In the in the long run, that actually helped Minerva through all of her little one-inch dodges because it's now positioned her off to the edge. He has to decide. A little six-inch move isn't going to get him very far. Would she want to just take off running here? 
She's really good at, at uh, perils, though, so he could probably get away if he wanted to. Heck yeah. Okay. All right. Where are you this headed is, to? I'm going to run this way. All right. So, uh, since she's choosing to run during her activation, she is going to have to deal with her, um, her perilous area. Or she's going to have to take a peril because of the difficult area. <laughs> and it's another free pass. So she has her 12-inch move. All right. Who do you want to activate next? When you're playing solo, you get to decide your league. You, you basically play your league just like you normally would. So he decides who he wants to activate. Uh, i got to rush the closest. That would be uh, one of those I'm little fellas. Okay. So it has been in a fight, so it'll only be rolling one dice to fight you. Bah! Nothing. <coughs> um, he's not going to use his Megate count at the moment. Okay. Three hit, so a three dice health check. Splattered. Dead guy. Not easily, though. Okay. Uh, who's next? Okie Joe. Okie okay, Joe is standing with the guy. He's What's gonna he going to do? Dodge at that guy, I think. He's going to dodge at him. Okay. Well, He's the, he pretty much has to. He's only rolling one dice. One dice for bra wouldn't do anything. So, Correct. And I have to do it, so. Okay. So, so you got a six, six, and that's that's good enough. It doesn't matter. Oh, he, he was only rolling one dice. Yeah, he's dice. only rolling one dice. Gotcha. Um, and he could get away. He could right. disengage. Yep. Moving an inch that way right. will we'll get him away. Um, cutter. Cutter. Yep. Cutter. He's gonna dodge him. The zombie's only rolling one dice. I still got two dice. You're sh fighting. Let's fight. Okay. Nothing. Uh, Take your hit. Uh, going down. Uh, <laughs> All right. And then we're at the, we're at the end of the turn, so it's recovery checks. How about Lou? Lou gone. Cutter. Cutter. Gone. Cut okay. Lou. Cutter. Um, There's sacrificial fire. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, it's not even my normal crew. I just hired these guys. Oh, um, absolutely. Unless I have to pay them. That's right. Minerva is, is uh, famous for her crew getting wiped out. That's why she hires almost a brand new crew at each uh, location that she goes to. Um, we're starting a new turn. And now, who do you think ought to activate first here? Cards. What were they? What were they, uh, Bessie? And I'll try to activate her. Mm -hmm. There's another plot point over there. All clear, so that's an attached card. So you can get, ignore a, a peril or whatever. Nice. I will do that. Um, move over here and activate this plot point. Okay. Let's see what this says. This character ignores all perils, including perilous areas and bursts, attached until end no, of it's turn. Not the actual clock um, but it is it is the peril. Let's see. Ignores all perils. So she would have to face a peril, so she'll automatically ignore it. Uh, attach end of turn. Um, so uh, here's Here's the peril that she's going to ignore. We'll just go ahead and flip it because it's a card, so it's gone. So this is attached until end of turn, so it would go away at the end of yes. the turn, right? Yes, okay. yeah. I got rid of the one that I had laying out over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she drew it right at the exact right time. And so here's the plot point. All right. Two, with might, finesse, or cunning. She's good at the... 
She is. She's a. She's in coding though. Okay. It's important distinction. She got both. And another plot point falls into her lap. She is yeah. a treasure hunter from way back, a tomb raider. Okay. All right. So Jay. this lasts till end of turn, but I got this one. It gives me once per turn this card, a card to gain a bonus. So if I was smart, I would definitely discard this. Yeah. Till end of turn. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. To power. Combo. To power your cards. Yes, absolutely. Um, all right, G. Uh, you are still going. Who's next on your side to act? Today? I only have three guys. I know. So. He's down to three. <laughs> Let's do Ramji. Ramjeet gets <laughs> hesitation. This character cannot perform any actions oh, and, cannot, no. and cannot run. I don't think he was going to do oh, either one. No. Is he just going to walk up and s smash a zombie? I guess. And cannot run. Well, I'm not running. So just walk up and beat this yeah, one down. Might as well. All right. The zombie will fight with two die six. A seven. A nothing. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The I know. He got one hit, and the zombie will ignore that. All right. Uh, and then it is Oki Joe. Oki Joe's on guard. Roll for the challenge below. Two know. with might, finesse, or can't cunning. Those... Can't do any of them. Automatically go to fail. This character cannot move during this activation. Oh, sad face. So he is going to stand right there. So he can't even rush. He's going to stay right there. But he's on guard. He's got his pistols out and he's going to hold his ground. Yeah. He's holding them off. Always. He could still attack. Uh, you want to shoot somebody? Let's shoot somebody. Okay. Let's say this what green fella heck? here. What the hey? Uh, because it's free hits, two dice health check, and splattered. <laughs> Turns to a, a powder right there. We should take one of those blue chips away. What for? Oh, let's see, sprint. This is my sprint guy here. So I'll take that one away because that guy had the one that uh, did the peril. All right, G, so you've activated all three of your characters. Um, so now we start with the, with the bot league, the opposing side. That guy is in combat, so he will go first. He got a five. I guess I will die. Yeah, I could still draw. No, I'm going to discard my make it count and roll three die six. Okay, to brawl. Yeah. So a three dice hit on the zombie. So the zombie will have to roll a three dice health check and it is gone. Ram and Ramjeet fine. is uninjured. Yeah. Zombie, gone. Gamble Another splatter. Off. All right, gee. Um, what's next? I guess okay. this guy is the next closest. So Oki Joe won't get to shoot at him. I guess I'll dodge. Okay. And there's a zombie. Oki Joe. Zombie got a four, so Oki Joe dodged it and he could move back an inch. Oh, you decide which Is it still in there? Uh, yeah, I'd probably go ahead and get off of there. I think I think your inch will get you clear to there. As long as there's an inch in between those two. I guess this guy on Oki Joe again. Zombie. Oki Joe dodging. Got, aw it. got away. Move back another inch. All right. We still have two more here. Send this guy across. He can get to you without running. So he'll come at you. Zombie. Okie Joe dodging. Uh, this time he takes his two hits, uh, I take and he hit. goes down. Sad. Okay. Now, you have this guy, her. I guess she would be the next character closest. So you'd have to do her. I'm saying you have to activate her next. What do you think the best thing for her to do would be? 
but she just want to go try and beat up somebody. She's got three die eight in brawl. She's a decent brawler. Is or she could try and chase Minerva down. What would be the worst thing you think for her to do? I would try to kill Minerva. But okay. All right. Because even if we manage to kill Ramji, it's still tied. Or I'm still winning. So 12 is going to get you clear over to here. So if you had them go first next turn, she would actually be able to rush her. Mm -hmm. um, they've all gone. This guy hasn't gone. Does he have six to Ramjeet? He does indeed. Yeah. Yep, he's got six to Ramjeet. Okay. Ramjeet. Okay. I don't think he's been in a fight, so he, the zombie's throwing two dice least. six. I know he's done at least one. I think... Um, on Ramjeet, how many fights has he been in? I thought he'd been in two, but... Okay, he's been in two. He's, he's going to do his dodge. A five. Zombie. Zombie, nothing. Uh, so you want to back away? Yeah. Okay. Keep that one-inch space between the characters when you do your dodge. And this fella here actually has 12 inches to uh, Minerva. Do you want to do it? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Two dice six. Oh. I'll dodge. Yes, you will. Okay. And back away. If you want. Now, yeah, you know, I say that because I, I, I think he would want to back away. Yeah. But I want to make sure you all know you don't, you don't have to back away if you don't want to. You, he could have left her engaged with that zombie. Um, and in different situations, you may want to do that. Uh, that ends the turn. So recovery. Recoveries. Okie Joe. Okie Joe. My boy. No. Oh. No. Dr. Fangs. I don't have to pay anybody. Right. Now you don't have to pay him. You don't have yeah. to split. You don't have Shoot. to split the money with anybody. Um, and that's all of the recoveries you have. It's, it's fairly common for Minerva and Ramjeet to be the only survivors when they go into a, to a mission. And somehow Minerva always walks away with huge piles of loot. Um, now, the tough decision is, which side do you want to activate guy, first? He says, he'll says, let's see Just what they can lame. do. I think two characters are the closest. Okay. Let's do this guy. We want to do this one. Okay. He will come in on Minerva. Close ah. that at one inch. He'll be rolling. Oh, he's going to have to draw a card. See, it. See what it is. This character cannot roll any shoot dice or place a burst until the end of the turn. Okay. So that's attached. All right. He'll be rolling two dice. Minerva is going to do what? That's all she's good at. She can get out of any tricky Too situation. Too so bad. Uh, so she can automatically dodge. You don't even have to roll. So you can back her away. Okay. I think this is the next closest guy, and he's on Ramjeet. All right. So. Ramjeet's going to brawl, though. Okay. A five from the zombie. Two fives or two hits. Uh, so the zombie will take two. Ramjeet is fine. Zombie, zombie gone. Dead. Poof. Wonder if the zombies will all be slaughtered before the end of the scenario. So the next closest G is either her to Minerva, which okay. looks like it's just a little over six, or this guy to this guy. So again, um, I'd say, which one of these would you rather activate? Blue chip or this? Um, uh, the shaman. Okay. Activate the shaman. and So the shaman is the third character to activate this turn. Mm -hmm. She's going to get a buff. Quirk of fate. 
All other solo cards and effects currently in play are canceled and, and discarded. This is discarded. This is discarded. Gone. Okay. And then I guess she's going to go after Minerva. Because that's, that's all she does, really, is, is beat on things. So uh, she's going to use her attack here. Uh, three die eight is what she attacks with. What's Minerva going to do? Probably dodge. That's what she does. Okay. Mm-hmm. No. Okay, we'll not get through. All right, and you're going to back uh, Minerva up? Oh, yeah. Okay. Most assuredly. Okay. Now, over here. These three guys haven't gone, have they? So they all have Ramjeet to go after. Uh, we'll send this one after Ramjeet. So far, okay. Is that the zombie? No, those are on me. Oh, Burger. his his brawl. No, his D8. So okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, um, the zombie will sweat. ignore it. Okay, and he's tied up. Um, blue chip. He's not blue anymore. You're right. His effect was canceled. Uh, we'll come in on Ramjeet. Ah, Two die uh, six. I guess I'll dodge. So, zombie. Ramjeet. Oh no! Takes his two hits. <laughs> ah, Ramjeet! And, uh, and he's injured. And zombie number three. Uh, zombie. Ramjeet. Okay, dodge okay. it. Um, you could move away. Uh, because this is difficult area, you could move an inch away into the difficult area, like so. Okay. And you still have an inch away from all enemy models. So like he's backing off into the bushes. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you have not activated yet. Okay. Um, he well, can't if, run, though. Yeah, he's in contact with the difficult area. He can run, but he'll have to take a peril. Sure. I'll choose to run. Okay. So. He's got his treasure. Ramjeet knows how to survive. He, so he's, he's wounded. I'm taking a risk. Okay. I'm taking a risk. Is he running? He's running. Only one with might. cunning or might. Easy. Now, I think he has something That's for might. His, and might. <coughs> his, um, a reroll. No, it's, it's, uh, he's, his might is not lowered by injuries. Oh, okay. So he gets to roll his d8s. Okay, he only needed one. Easy. So he makes it so he can move 12 inches. Well, not with very many of them, or maybe not all of them. So, you go this way. Okay. Get in that corner. Okay. All right. And Minerva. Okay, she is going to, I guess, run this way. All right, and that ends the turn recoveries. Ram G, you my boy. Yep, he shakes it off. And that's the only recovery check. She's pulling a bullet. So this is the last turn? Mm -hmm. Okay. Garrett, 
Who is going to activate first this turn? Uh, I guess I'll let you go. I think you got two. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Both of these still have range to you. So I guess zombie number one. We're shooting that one. Okay. Or you gotta do a card first. Oh yeah. Watch your step. Oh. Encounters a peril immediately. Oh. Uh, use the challenge below. So one with cunning or might. It, it's got two in uh it only Easy needed mode. one. Okay, so got past the peril, reaches Minerva, it will be rolling two die six. Two D six for the zombie. Two fives. I'm shooting. Okay, so it'll take a four dice health check. <laughs> and she two. will take a two. Take yep. Yep. She gets injured this time. Huh. And Seven zombie <laughs> is <laughs> We got to make sure all the zombies are dead by the end of the scenario. If you have any surviving zombies, you know, um, she still has 12 inches to get onto yeah, Minerva. Get her. And so. She has a card. Oh, she has to draw a card. She may not even make it there. Uh, watch your back. This character encounters a peril immediately. Use the challenge below. Uh, one with might or finesse. Finesse three die eight. G need one success. Easy move. Got it. She survived the peril. Passed it. Minerva's gonna get it. Okay, so three die eight brawl is what. Uh, yeah. Four and an eight. Yeah. What well, what was that? Is that our dodge? Okay. Yeah. Um, you stopped the eight with your nine. You stopped the four with a four. No hits got through, and she. Um, did, were you still rolling D8s? Oh, no, yeah, you're right. So an 8 and a 4 is what she had. There you go. Psych. Get these out of here. Because of her injury. You cheaters. Because of her injury, boys and girls, that uh, means she can't use her, uh, her, uh, her big dice. She so she one. actually took one. And yeah. she's all right, though. Good. Um, and then over here, um, two. Oh, yeah, I only think two of them are going to have range to you. So he gets one right. Yeah. Yep, he's the third character. Boop. Watch your head. Oh my god! They were all stacked up. Um, one with finesse or cunning. It only has one dice. He's gonna make Oh. No. Oh, ah, it, it ignores. Died. No, it it oh, ignores yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it trips up over here, and it, it automatically ends its activation. So you have one guy coming. Um, he'll be rolling. Two dice to brawl. Brawl. A Another five. Brawl. A seven. So the zombie will ignore your seven. You will have to roll a one dice health check, and you survived it. Um, There's one more. He's out of range. He's not going to get there. So move six, I guess? Yeah. The only thing that's going to happen now is that you're going to activate your guys. You're going to fight almost regardless of what happens. It, it really doesn't matter, but we can play through it real quick. Um, so zombie over here will be rolling one dice to attack you. A five. Those that's an attack. So okay. zombie took two hits. It is gone. Aha. Yes, another one closer. bites the dust. Um, now he took one hit. You might as well roll your one dice health check for him. He he takes his injury. Mm -hmm. Over there, Minerva is still locked up with uh, with dodge. Brawly. Uh, she is a, she has moxie, so she's not going to lose any dice, so okay. she'll roll three die eight to brawl you. Oh, man. Six. 
six, and then you'll right, block them. The eight will stop her six, and the five will stop the five, and that's it. So she successfully dodged. So um, that's your basic solo game, and it. it I, I think there is a, a lot of honor system involved in it, and I I like it better that way because you you really need to decide to play the opponent tough. Mm -hmm. And if you do, if you want to take the easy way out, you know, that's up to you because you're playing solo and nobody else is there to really care. <laughs> so you can definitely play solo and win every time if that's all you want to do. But it's more fun to actually... Some people need that in their life. Oh, that's true. <laughs> um, yeah. But playing the opponents tough and, and, and trying to, to make it hard, that's the key to making it a fun scenario. And you can't really do that by rolling on a chart. You know, you have to use your, your brain a little bit and decide, you know, this is what's going to make it the hardest uh, for me to actually win. Minerva is super when it comes to actions and dodging. She can survive for long periods in the game. She can get in there and handle the perils. She can handle the actions. Uh, that's her, her bread and butter. Uh, up against a lot of weak characters, she's able to really deal with them effectively. So you'll notice that his league did, did take a pretty good beating. So I wouldn't, <clears throat> wouldn't call it a, a complete walkover, but, uh, but he did good, and he got several uh, treasures out of the deal. Uh, nice, fun, quick solo game. So let us know uh, if y'all are playing solo and if you're using the solo deck. Um, what else are we supposed to cover tonight? Anything else? Oh, click that. Please click that like, share, and subscribe button so you can uh, keep updated on uh, the, the, the news regarding the world's most dangerous baby. Um, <laughs> gee, anything to share tonight? Wow, well, that's pretty cool. I, I like that. It's fun. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching. This is Dave with Pulp Alley. Bye, everybody.